All right, guys. So today I'm going to go over how the exact email copy that you should use when trying to cold email rank and rent leads. Um, so someone submitted their existing copy telling me, Hey Jackie, I'm not closing anyone with this copy. So I'm pretty much cooking him live on the show today. But, uh, if you guys like episodes like this, where someone submits an example and then I just absolutely cook little bro on the YouTubes, comment cold email for the YouTube algorithm and we'll get it going. As always, got to get on the creatines. Here we go. I've been hitting the gym recently, actually. Just been spending time with Yanis um, and her and co. So it's been nice. Here we go. All right, let's go. So yesterday we did a total of four thousand dollars and sixty. Four thousand and sixty dollars. Amazon at nineteen hundred. Media Vine about thousand fifty eight. Fan Fuel and Cell Health combined to a whopping zero dollars. And OnlyFans at about eleven hundred dollars. Um, by the way, you're gonna want to sign up for the first link in the description today. It's a trust me, bro. Just do it. And um, remember to stay subscribed. All right, guys. Just do it. It's a. It's a banger. All right. All right. So yesterday, April tenth, thirty five point one k. Order revenue up slightly from the day before. Um, yeah, we're kind of doing well. We're, we're well, all things considered, you know. And uh, on the ninth, commissions where we at seventy two dollars. We take that. It's fine. Pretty happy about that. Um, yeah, let's talk about today's episode. All right. Remember, first link in the description. Get the show notes, and then we're on episode one fifty four today. One fifty four. Long time coming. I'm nearly. We're, we've been at it for nearly half a year now huh pretty good so today we're going to talk about the cold email for rank and rent before we get started um you're going to have to know how to set up a cold email because you don't want to cook your own like your private email right i i, I would never do any cold emailing from hello at indexy.com because that's where i email normal people from and yeah, just so check out this video. I embedded it, so don't. I'm not gonna address any questions regarding this, how to set it up. Yeah. So, anyways, after you scrape all the emails for the rank and rent, um, what you want to do is you're gonna start blasting them with emails. And someone submitted this email. Let me read it out to you guys. Hello there. I'll be quick. We rank on the front page of Google and other search engines for the term deck builder St. Louis, and just about every variation of it. Would you be interested in being included at number one here for a lifetime and getting organic free leads, our website, XYZ? So first thoughts, not the worst cold email because it's short and sweet. Um, it's just what I've seen from the emails I get, probably not the best. So I came up with my own variation and we... This might not be the best way to do it, but it's something that you can, it's worth testing. All right. So I hope this just triggers something in your brain that, so you have something else to test, you know? All right. So here's my variation. Always include a subject line. So today I added, as always, I like to do quick question, first name or quick question, or if, so the, the niche we're talking about as an example today is deck builder. So I wanted to. I added the subject line deck builder quote, you know, very generic. So the potential, this lead will think that um, this email is a request for a quote, but it's not, we're pitching the shit out of them, right? So hi, first name. If you don't know the name, just be like, hi there. We have extra leads who are looking for deck builders in St. Louis. So this could be deck builders would be the, um, the wild card or the, you replace deck builders with niche and then in St. Louis with city. So we have extra leads who are looking for deck builders in city. Do you have the capacity to service an extra 20 to 25 clients a month? That's it. So you need to be ambiguous enough. So it triggers some sort of like curiosity from the lead. And this, that's what I would aim to do today. Um, and the best your name, that's it. That's it. And remember, 
always have a CTA at the end of the um, at the end of the email, and you'll note that I didn't include the website because, dude, businesses don't care about your method of getting leads. They just want leads. They're just trying to grow their business. All right, so don't confuse them with too much information. So that's why I blocked out the website section. But yeah, I kept it short and sweet. And all they have to do is respond with yes. And then you either ask to hop on a call or you you know, you would just respond with more information. Um, typically, I, if you want a higher close rate, especially for like boomers or people who aren't very tech savvy, you probably just send them a PDF of like what exactly you're doing and then they can read it on their own time or send them a loom, like a recorded video of you because it's more personable and do it that way. All right. Um, that's it for today. Uh, hope you guys liked this episode. Remember to comment a cold email for the YouTube algorithm. And also, dude, um, I just updated the secret HVAC channel on um, the advice community. And we are popping the fuck off in terms of rankings for the, the my secret case study. Local SEO is just way too fucking easy. We're like top two across London now. Um, this shit's easy as fuck. So if you guys want to sign up and see what exactly what I'm doing, I highly, highly, highly recommend you apply to the advice community. Uh, the button's right here. Shit's crazy. All right. I lay it out exactly step by step what gigs I used. You see the URLs, you see exactly what I'm doing. I post the delivery date, uh, order date, delivery date, the delivery um, so you can just literally do that for your own businesses as well. So I highly recommend just apply to the advice community. We're closing the signups in about, I think the next 20 or so members. So let me know guys. All right. Um, that's it. I'm going to answer a couple questions now. Again, Jackie with the banger video. Thank you. Diversifying traffic sources is always good. And as many say, SEOs suck at business. Imagine how much more we can make utilizing other sources when we have all this content available. Completely agree. I'm probably going to pin this. This is a banger comment. Um, yeah, I think I, I, I'm at an SEO conference right now, right? Well, I'm in Saigon. There was an SEO conference here. Uh, talks were meh. People I met were great. People who came up to me and said, hi, appreciate it. People who asked for photos. Thank you. It's a, a nice stroking of my ego. And, um, one thing I've noticed is after speaking with a couple, you know, other SEO creators is you guys really suck at monetizing. SEOs are like a certain profile of people who are tinkerers and yeah, you just monetize better. All right. If, if there's one thing I can change about you guys is to squeeze the Squeeze the monetization harder is, is all I'm going to say. I, I, I won't go into like the nitty gritty, but yeah. Hi, Jackie. Great video and info as always. Question for the site you recovered from HCU. Did you re 301 the old domain or completely leave it? No redirect. No redirect. If you want to be cheeky, you can fucking redirect it to a competitor and it will clap them. You're working on so many things. What are some tools and software you use daily that helps you stay on top of things, keeps your business running profitably, referring to ones not mentioned in previous videos, uh, Slack. So any, the communication ones don't count Slack, notion, notes app, Google spreadsheet. Um, I'm one of those firm believers that you can get to $10 million a year with just a spreadsheet and a notes app. I think people overcomplicate tools. All right. You can brute force that shit. Um, the issue with monetization, is not the tools. Tools are not the issue here. It's most, I'm, I'm gonna say nine times, 9.5 times out of 10, it's the person. Um, Johannes says, Jackie Chow, stay on SEO. Also with organic Facebook techniques. Thank you, appreciate you. We're gonna keep up the great videos, love them. Thank you. Great content as usual, brother. Recently started a travel blog, one post so far, just done setting it up and we'll work on it for now. Travel pretty much all over the world and have some good ideas to test. Tried everything possible, imaginable, screwed up from dropshipping, made some profits till COVID to Etsy 1.5K, then shut me down. Crypto made huge gains, round tripped everything. 
been working full time in crypto and got laid off. Now I want to go all in blogging and SEO. I see a huge opportunity besides Google recent changes. Any tips are more than welcome. If anyone needs help, part time, full time, from Canva design to operations, let's talk. Carmelo, epic name number one. Number two, dude, I think if you want to do travel, I think video content is the way to go now. I think there there's so many ways to do hooks with travel content. Yeah, focus on video. Um, in hindsight, Janice and I probably should have filmed more, like vlog style. Fuck it, we'll figure it out. Maybe I'll start now. Mostly because I have the, I have full time editors on the team, so it's like I'm like just using it on my shitty YouTube videos. You know, I don't know. Um, great episode, bang more of these out. Thank you. What's your main focus for generating revenue now? Still partnerships or exploring new things? Still partnerships. Partnerships are still working. I don't want to talk too much about it because I don't want Google to clap me anymore. But I'm sure Google isn't watching anymore because we're pretty late in the video. So here's to you guys. Partnerships still working fucking well. All right. Steve Ale, what's going on? Uh, you got the big boy water bottle today again. Thanks for the organic Facebook insights. Thank you. Jackie is forming an SEO agency still worth coming five years for coming five years. Where should I invest in e-com ASAP? Uh, I think SEO agencies, meh. I'm, I, I'm just not excited about agencies. I don't know. I still believe it's the easiest way to make money. Maybe do a local SEO agency, you know, or rank and rent. I think everyone should, if you're just starting out, start rank and rent, and then you can transition slowly to a local uh, SEO agency. It's a, it's like a very transferable kind of skill set. All right, th- that's it for today, guys. Got to run. Got to go eat some breakfast. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow.